you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, so here we are, the MMA leader back in London, England. It's amazing to think back to UFC 75 when the UFC first came to the UK. Now you're talking about 25 shows in the United Kingdom, but few markets as rabid about mixed martial arts as London is. And the moment you saw guys like Michael Bisping start to fight the UFC, he seemed as though he was alone. Now there are many, a number of English fighters with dreams of headlining this arena. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Lands to the body. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Gets to the single collar tie. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Nice jab. Beautiful block there. Nice control of that collar top. And a massive elbow lands around the guard. Don't give up. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. What was that, too? And do a work with the jab. Straight right hand now just misses. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, body shot. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice punch to the head. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. He lands another head kick. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Effective jab there by Lee. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Don't back up. Push forward. Lands a solid kick right there. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Just touching him with the jab. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Oh, nice hook by Lee. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, there's that switch kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Good kick to the body. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to turn him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. 
Oh, the Superman punch lands. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Oh, jabs and bunches here, splits the guard there, and continuing to keep his opponent at distance, courtesy of that crisp jab. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Oh. Final seconds here of round one. certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round, DC. A lot of effective kicks there to the body. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attacked the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Oh, nice combination there. He is a picture-perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. Some real power shots here. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Timely defense there, huge block for him. He missed with that jab attempt there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Big power shot there. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kick coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Just over two minutes to go. Back kick there. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. 
He's got the single collar tie. Right on the button. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Good punch lands. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Lands a good series of kicks here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Clean with the right hook. Yet another hook connected there by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. 15 seconds to go. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, all right, that's God. the end of round number two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let's now check out some of the action, DC. What a display of leg kicks in that last round. He did a good job of identifying his approach in that round. He knew the leg kick would be open, and he took full advantage of it. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar tie. Well, you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen, outlining just how effective he has been with the jab here tonight. He established it early. That was a big thing for his camp coming in, and they certainly have done their homework. Let's see where he goes from here. Got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends later. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, the high kick lands. Swing and a miss by Lee. Nice leg kick. He lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it, but the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He's got that single collar tie. Nice shot to the head from the clinch position. Headshot, bang! All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid 
having this become an issue. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. About two minutes here to go in round three. Lee gets crushed with that hook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Leg kick now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Collar tie here in the clinch. Now some separation. Big reaction as he absorbs yet another body shot, and you see the referee maybe start to close the distance a little bit. This could be a TKO in short order. Oh, oh he's wobbling now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Let's go. Set up that take Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Under a minute now to go. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh. Outstanding round. Do you believe it? Another five minutes coming up. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight Ready. is going to be stopped due to the swap. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five, and this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Head kick there blocked by Lee. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. And now some separation. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Man, he is unrecognizable as far as that midsection is concerned. Might have a fractured rib. He's going to be urinating blood for a week. <laughs> this dude's in trouble. He's in trouble. Hey, for as bad as it is right now, and this fight may get stopped because of this damage, tomorrow will be much worse. This guy does not have much fun to look forward to in the next few days. Oh, he's timing his shots nicely now. Keep the pressure Nice leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Oh, and he 
lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Lands a nice jab there. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Beautiful punch to the body. Under two minutes here to go round four. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Mm, nice. Oh. Big ground and pound. And he's back up. Possible five. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, nice jab. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice job landing that knee strike. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Nice front kick. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Lands the double jab. Oh, 
beautiful counter on the jab after blocking the strike. Nice job turning defense into offense for the longer fight. Side kick, well placed. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Beautiful kick lands there. The right hand just misses. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork. Unable to land the head kick there. Great job fighting behind the limb. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single problem time. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Nice jab there. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, Superman punch. Good block there. Under two minutes now with which to work. Leg kick lands. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. One minute to go in the fight. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Now you gotta get back up. Scramble to get back up. Scramble. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Another ground and pound strike lands. And there you go, again, half guard. Come on, bro. Keep those hands up. Now he's going full mount. That was a slick transition. All right, feet on the hips here. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Let's go. Keep 20 seconds to go in the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Final seconds of the fight. So an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So of course it's gonna be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion.
champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks 